Hello, in this video I'm testing the most flexible TPU filament which I tested so far on this channel and this is uh, TPU 85A by Azure Film. Now I already tested a similar hardness of the filament but uh, the hardness is one thing and this is what usually we get in the specifications. It's actually the resistance of material to the penetration but the flexibility is something else and I already tested 85A TPU filament on this channel, but for the filling that's not even close to this flexibility which I have with this one. I bought it myself um, two years and three months ago, so it is quite old filament and uh, I bought it for the testing and uh, quite a lot of uh, direct drive extruders cannot print with this filament. The biggest success I had actually on NL3 V2 where I installed the NG direct drive extruder by the Microsys. There the distance between the gears, the pulleys and the hot end is very small, so this is great for the flexible filaments. But since I have the Pusa Mark IV and I have quite big success with printing flexible filaments on it, uh, I am continuing my testings on this printer. As you can see this is 250 grams, quite small spool, uh, in diameter it is 130 millimeters, a little bit bigger and I had uh, quite a lot of problems to find the correct uh, filament dryer, you will see soon. I don't know if I should comment the spool, I think they changed it in the meantime, I mean this is more than two years ago. We have only one hole for the locking end of the filament and, and only on one side and quite a few informations we have on the spool. At least we have the printing temperature which is between 200 and 240 degrees Celsius and the bed temperature up to 80 degrees Celsius. Be careful, TPU may stick very good to PI sheets, so uh, use some texture PI sheet or something like that. I'm using the Prusa Satin sheet and uh, the max temperature will be 40 or 50 degrees Celsius. And because of this elasticity actually I will have a new types of the test which will be measured directly with the filament, but also I have now my regular testing methods for the flexible filaments. Not only because this is very old filament, but with the TPU overall it is very important to start with the drying. And then I face this problem because of the smaller diameter, that it cannot stand on those rollers inside the filament dryers. But then I remember that this grad kit has a unique solution too, it can hold the spool in the center hole on one cylinder. It uses the application, so I am using here the preset values for TPU filament. It was I think 55 degrees Celsius 4 hours or something like that. Only every hour I rotate the spool a little bit to have more recall drying. And the printing will be from the open air and the only reason for this is that I don't have a solution nice exit from this filament dryer. Inserting of the filament wasn't easy because at the beginning it wasn't detected by the filament sensor so I have to push it a little bit harder and when it was detected uh, it was pulled a little bit and then of, of course the Mark IV offered uh, the screen to choose the material and after the preheating the extruding was successful. And this is the temperature tower in the slicer from 240 down to 220 degrees Celsius and the maximum flow rate will be 5 cubic millimeters per second and uh, here you can see the speeds the maximum will be on infill approximately 70 millimeters per second. This is the printing of the first layer, the adhesion is great, this is the Prusa satin sheet, uh, 50 degrees Celsius on the bed surface and I know that with the TPU filaments uh, I will have a problem with the bridging and this wasn't exception, on highest temperature element uh, bigger bridging was uh, failed. On the 220 degrees Celsius actually the bridging was better but here I faced uh, a different problem too and that's curling up on that bigger overhang. this one here. The bed adhesion was perfect with this satin sheet, be careful a smooth PI may stick too good to it and look at this overhang, so on 240 degrees Celsius it looks perfect but on 220 very ugly and I wasn't sure that is this because of the wobbling on the top of the temperature tower so I decided to reprint this uh, element of, of, on 220 degrees Celsius here you can see the bridging moment, but basically look at that uh, overhang and curling up. It is the same like with the previous temperature tower. The adhesion was okay. And look at this. On 220 degrees Celsius, exactly the same problem curling up on those higher overhangs. And uh, this is something what I cannot explain actually. 
Now, if somebody knows what's happening here, then please help me out. Anyway, I will print everything on 240 degrees Celsius because um, I have a better layer adhesion and I don't have any bridging, but I have quite big overhangs on my test objects. This is the first layer and those small spots are actually from the nozzle touch during the outer leveling. And this was quite long printing, three hours. After two, two and a half hours, I noticed that some stringing appeared because I'm printing from the open air, not from the filament dryer, unfortunately. And some stringing appeared. And this stringing just became a little bit bigger on those last two elements for the layer attrition. But they are printed correctly, so they are straight, and actually here I have those big overhangs. The bed adhesion was perfect on this satin sheet and 50 degrees Celsius. And all test objects are printed, ready for testing. Important filaments will be stored on some dry place. This is that new testing method and I will repeat it with all TPU filaments I tested so far and I will add it to that pattern summary table. This is the holder for the filament and this is the sensor, exactly 200 mm long. As you can see 200 mm by default and I am placing exactly half kilogram load on it. And after exactly half minutes I am measuring the new length which is 224 mm in this case. And here I am removing the load. The tensile or pulling test with horizontally printed objects. And the first failure I noticed at 280% and actually it was the delamination between the walls of the object. The next was the layer adhesion test with vertically printed objects. And they broke correct in the smallest cross-section area, but this was quite low value. The ring test combination of the bending and the compression and I can see a lot of deformation even under the empty equipment but the main load is 1.25 kilograms and I'm measuring the initial deformation, the deformation after one minute and after two minutes. The next is also a ring test but this time with the pulling and the bending combination. The load is again 1.25 kilograms and I'm measuring the initial deformation and the deformation after two minutes. And after this test I cannot see visually any deformation on these rings. And now the friction test on the glass, these legs are still printed from this TPU. The total weight will be 3.5 kilograms. And now we measure the pulling force in kilograms. With harder TPUs the pulling force is uh, below one kilogram, but in this case I believe that it will be far above one kilogram. 1 1.35, 1.32, 1.33. And now a regular washer test with M6 bolts. I'm tightening the bolts uh, exactly three rotations, that's uh, three millimeters, and I'm measuring the tightening torque. And then I will wait one day. And next day I will measure the untightening torque. And the average value was uh, 0 0.55 newton meters. And also I measured the dimensions after 30 minutes. And also I measured the deformation after one day. And then the creep test, the thickness of this test object is, is 2 volts and the load is 1.25 kilograms and I'm measuring the length. This is the first day and this is the last day. And I will show you all numbers in results part. The temperature test, the load is M10 nut, but this is very flexible filament so it is very close to deformation, but I will try to measure something. And this is speed up video at time lapse. And notice first deformation at approximately 84 degrees Celsius. I stopped the experiment at 110 degrees Celsius. And actually for the filling it has the same flexibility like before this test. Uh, I can touch it after maybe half minutes, but the flexibility is very similar. Let's analyze the data in this Excel table and here for comparison I will include some data for Extruder Semiflex uh, TPU which has the similar hardness. 
this Excel table you can download from mytechfund.com website, but also separately I will add this to the summary table for my Patreon supporters. Let's start with the crypt test. So these are directly measured values, but what you need is difference between two days, and that's what we can see on this graph. And here we can see on day one it has significant uh, creeping, which was uh, reduced a lot on day two. It didn't stop completely, but it was very minimal after day five. On 10 or polling test, um, we can see that the first failure was approximately at 16.55 kilograms. And actually the reason for this was that delamination between the walls, but uh, even then it uh, failed at approximately 280% uh, prolongation. On the layer activation test, uh, well, it was quite weak. Uh, usually with TPU filaments it is weaker, but uh, even from the average it is uh, weaker a little bit, but even then it didn't break suddenly, so I could see some prolongation elasticity before the break. On that uh, ring bending and compression test, uh, here you can see the real elasticity of this filament, so it was much more flexible compared to the extruder filament. On that second ring test, uh, again we can see that uh, it was much more elastic compared to the extruder filament, but uh, even then, after two minutes, the additional deformation was very minimal, so it don't have that big creeping. On the washer test, the tightening torque was uh, weaker compared to the extruder filament, but the untightening torque in percentage was approximately 46% compared to the tightening torque, so this means that it is more elastic and holds better the position, and even after uh, half hours I can see that uh, it gets 95% uh, of its uh, original dimension compared to the extruders, which was 92%. On the temperature test, well, it was quite hard for this material to hold this M10 nut even on the room temperature. I tried to record some first deformation, I noticed on 84 degrees Celsius. And um, the friction test on the glass with this uh, 3.5 kg load, here we can see that the real advantage of this kind of filament, so the pulling force actually was quite bigger compared to the extruder's filament. And the flexibility, which was measured directly with the filament, here again we can see how elastic is this filament. And uh, 24 millimeters additionally was the prolongation of this azure film filament. And the same hardness, look at this, only 8 millimeters with this extruder 85A filament. Well, you saw the results, it's really fun to print with these very flexible materials, but be careful, uh, maybe you should buy some sample filaments first and to test if you are able to print with these flexible filaments. If you can, then you can print really interesting things. My most useful applications actually, which I printed from these materials, are different legs. These materials have a little bit weaker layer adhesion, usually TPU filaments have a weaker layer adhesion, but in my applications usually that's not so important and uh, I printed different legs for equipment which vibrates a lot. One of them is that air pump for the air assist, and the other is actually the new equipment which I have for the wearing test, you will see that uh, soon. Now, I hope somebody can help me to solve that mystery, why I had nicer printings on higher temperatures. Nicer printings, I mean with that overhang. The bridging, I can solve the bridging, that we have some different parameters there, but uh, this uh, overhang really confused me. Why on 240 degrees Celsius I have really nice overhangs, but on 220 degrees Celsius um, I have that uh, curling up and uh, similar problems. So this is really confusing to me. Usually I if I would see that kind of problem, I would go lower with the temperature if, if I have a space there, but this was really confusing. But anyway, I hope uh, somebody can help me too, and I hope I gave you some useful information. Thank you for watching and happy printing!